finally today, proof it's never too late for a comeback. Singer and actress Hatta Brooks hadn't recorded a new album in a quarter century or acted in a film in over 40 years. Now Brooks is doing both, as Gloria Hillard reports. Hands playing this four-chord change blues, or in other words, a boogie, belong to 77-year-old Hatta Brooks. Nearly 50 years ago, they dubbed her queen of the boogie. She still is. Now, it was just after World War II when a jukebox repairman asked her, Can you play boogie? And I said, I've never tried. He said, well, I'll give you a week to work up one. And I've got $800, and uh, if something comes of it, we'll record. And we're in business. The business, built on Hatter Brooks boogies, became Modern Records. She was recording three boogies a month when one night on stage, band leader Charlie Barnett said, Why don't you sing? I said, I can't. And he said, well, fake it. Soon, she was singing on the screen. Her first appearance was in the 1947 film called Out of the Blue. Love will see how it is. And when the director of In a Lonely Place told her to sing her song in a different way. We both got to tell them to let me alone. That you can't make a Shirley Temple out of a Judy Garland. And so I got to sing it like I wanted to. I had knew you want to Like many artists of that time, Brooks found her greatest success overseas. And now, after nearly two decades of semi-retirement, Hatta Brooks has just wrapped on a film with Jack Nicholson. They had fun. I had fun. <laughs> First time I ever got a standing ovation on the set. <laughs> Finally, late in life, Hatta Brooks is getting standing ovations. Just last year, she was given the Pioneer Award by the Rhythm and Blues Foundation. It was electrifying. I couldn't even say thanks. I have always thought that I wasn't a great thing to people. While there are birds that fly. When all of this happened and it came out, then it turned me around in thinking, well, maybe they do like me. The toast of Europe and Australia during her prime, Hedda Brooks has finally come home. <laughs> Gloria Hillard, CNN, Los Angeles. And that is it for this edition of Showbiz Today. Tomorrow, Christopher Reeve and Blair Brown will join us live to express their concerns about the congressional crackdown on TV violence. In New York, I'm Lauren Sidney. And in Hollywood, I'm Jim Moray. For everyone here at Showbiz Today, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you tomorrow.